Well, consumers, they're essentially complaining that things are harder already and the change in tariff, the increment basically, will make an already challenged economy more difficult. Uh, and also worried there about the fact that talk time could also be limited. I guess the real effect will be felt come November 1. Now, since the second century, the newspaper has been a major source of news. From ancient Rome to China, it was mostly handwritten and often read by government officials. However, its place in the media has been challenged in the 21st century as modern technology finds expression in radio, television, and the internet. In the following report, Joy News' Joshua Smith finds out about what appears to be the fading era of the newspaper. Kwame Chum, a vendor who has been in the newspaper business for 28 years at Kaneshi, tells Joy News the business used to be lucrative and at a point he had 15 workers. But times have changed. I started in June 1990 and I started in June. I started this business in 1996. My love the business the used to be lucrative, and I had 15 workers who sold in traffic. But times have changed. The newspaper reviews and the television stations are the same as the same. By 5.30 a.m., the newspaper has been ending. And this is how the headlines are going to be. By 5.30 a.m., the headlines are going to be. By 5.30 a.m., the headlines are going to be. By 5.30 a.m., the headlines are going to be. By 5.30 a.m., the headlines are going to be. If you want to know that people are not torn or a bar, I But first, you know, they're not because they're not my papa, they're not my papa, and let's cancel. Editor of the Guinean Times newspaper, Dave Agbenu, attributes the struggles of the print media to morning shows. The uh, struggle we go through to produce the newspaper is taken over by radio and TV in the morning. If you look at our landscape, 90 to 100 percent of Money show contents are taken from newspapers, newspaper headlines. And discussions go, go on from morning to about midday. And the shelf life of every newspaper is just about two hours. If you don't sell the newspaper between that two hours, you are done. Today, it's easy to get news on the phone. And that's why many of the people we spoke to on the streets of Accra seem to believe there are more easily accessible sources of information than the newspaper. Because of social media and the various apps like Twitter um, we have on our smartphones, I go there every morning to read my the, the daily news and anything that bothers on social issues. So now you have to either get a vendor and then buy it from him. But if you have everything on phone that is easily accessible, I think most people will opt for that as compared to going by the roadside or going to see a vendor to buy a newspaper. The need for human beings to educate themselves and to be abreast of issues that take place that necessarily surround their lives. So if you are not informed, if you are not educated about the realities of the day, maybe you may be shocked because there may be something that relates to your own development that you may not be aware of. So it will pass you by just through lack of seeking of information. And the point is that currently we don't read like in the past people used to read because of uh, an ever increasing laziness on the part of students. Diva Gwenu says owners of the print media houses have been in talks with electronic media owners to deal with the problem, but very little success has been made. Yes, we have. We have several times called a meeting with uh, media owners, particularly radio and TV. But it has not yielded any results, and I don't foresee, because of the arguments they put up, I don't foresee in the near future what we can do together to share revenue from the usage of my content or our content. But I think that we must continue to talk we must continue to discuss the issues and let them know that we pump in a lot of revenue to produce the newspapers. And if they just pick them up as content for their morning shows, 
and they get or uh, the, the adverts are placed on the back of those morning shows. It's just fair for us to share the revenue, whatever it is. Opinichu pleased with television and radio stations to limit the contents shared during newspaper reviews. <laughs> Because the German is statistically a number two two two, so now the public will be at five thirty. No one starting now. Our job starts at two. They should be disclosed. This is being done. This will drive away the lies. I believe the parents start their newspaper reviews at ten a.m. As agents, we have a huge number. We cannot afford to be affected. This is our source of livelihood. Pro distribution is a major issue for most print media houses. Those who love it continue to read and get entertained, informed and educated. Joshua Smith's report for Joy News.